try this. We're going to try this again. It is the 24th of September. And um, the I don't know what's going on with Ustream. I apologize. It's free. I can't control it. So hopefully I won't disappear again. I restarted my router. And yes, I would love a nice glass of wine if somebody would please pass it over. Um, anyway, I know I need to breathe. Hi, Kim. Welcome back. Did you go to Vegas? Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Susie. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I, and if I'm missing anybody, if anybody's new, please shout out. I welcome you. I thank you for coming. I'm, I hope you'll excuse the issues with you, stream. I'm about to shoot myself. Okay, I'm going to repeat myself for the third time. First official announcement is we are three pages away from being done. One or two pages this week, one or two pages next week. Voila, we're done. You're either with me, slightly behind, you haven't started it, don't stress out. You can do it anytime. They're all recorded. So here we go. Look at that. It's all full of color. And then we got to get into fall, so we have to start a fall project. Okay. So the second thing is the gratitude journal, which is the September challenge, is now officially the September and August challenge because. Um, I want to share my pages, and everybody's sharing their pages, and I've just been flat out burning my candle at 18 different ends, which is, I'm not one, I'm not even complaining, did I say August, September, September, and now October, October, I'm not complaining, I feel beyond blessed, I am beyond grateful, and I thank every one of you, um, one exciting thing that's happened is, remember the cards that we made for Maureen? I hand-painted one. Well, I have since um, hand-painted several more. I updated my Etsy store. A couple of them have sold. They're kind of like one-of-a-kind things. And the cool thing is they can be framed or they can be a cool little painting. And out of that has blossomed a class locally. And I'm also going to turn that into something here. Um, all of October? I think so, Sarah. I need a little bit of a, it's going to be a two-month challenge because it, it was a whole book. It wasn't, um, it wasn't just a um, page or two. So I know everybody wants to do their pages, and I was getting emails that they're doing two journals at the same time, and I, 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 can, I can sense that people are saying they're behind. The last thing, hi Janet, the last thing I want you guys to say to me is that you're behind, behind. You're behind and you feel overwhelmed because the one thing our art journaling should do is make us feel relaxed and on top of things. So all of October, there's the executive decision. The third exciting thing, and then enough about me, we're done, we're to paint. Again, I've shared this with you guys, I can't share it publicly, is on my life list, I've been in a number of magazines. Most of them are up there on that shelf. And one of them has befuddled me my entire career. And they contacted me about doing a photo shoot of my studio. And it's supposed to happen this week. So I'm on pins and needles because then I have to get this. I have to clean this whole place. Even though it looks clean, it has to be like really clean. And I am pee myself happy about that. Pee myself happy. Pee my pants happy about that. That sounds better. And the kids are busy. I'm busy. Life is good. There you go. That's it. So October, you can ease up. And then we've got more things planned. You got it? Are you with me? <laughs> Kim's like, oh, my God. Okay. I know. This is how I operate my entire life. Thank you, guys. So if you're all with me, we're all in this together. Um. Some of you guys have asked me about Etsy, and I encourage you all to take your art to whatever direction you want. If you ever have any questions, I'm not the trained professional to answer them, but I'm learning as I go. And, and um, Lori, who's probably at book club right now, started her Etsy store, so I encourage you guys to all create and uplift one another. Got it? That's it. That's the end of my story. I'm sticking to it. It is now 6.15. I do not get demerit points for starting late because um, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, Etsy is a great place to start. I've also, I'm doing live art walks. Somebody emailed me this week and said, oh, you have guts. You can do this. You know, and they asked me about starting. And I said, it's one project at a time. 
I look back at the projects I posted earlier, and today I updated my Etsy store, and I was like, uh, sold, sold, sold. Oh, yuck, what was that doing on there? Delete, delete, delete. Some of them I hate. I look back now and I go, but your art is ever evolving as you are ever evolving. If you can look back your year, um, if you can look back on your life, I this weekend had an opportunity to look back at my life 16 years ago. My matron of honor, I'm no longer married. My maid of honor, who is no longer married, came to my house and I haven't talked to her since 1996. We refound each other on Facebook. We picked up as if we had never left off realizing we are two completely different people. Two completely different people. We're not from each other, from who we used to be, yet we've grown in directions that have been together. So it was great. It was an awesome weekend. I laughed until I cried. I laughed until I peed my pants, literally. And it was interesting to see a time capsule of my life 16 exact years ago and how we did, I know, how our lives had even like grown apart, grown together, grown apart, grown together, grown, you know, anyway. So tomorrow on my vlog, I talk about this, how your art and you are ever evolving. So if you ever feel like you're in a rut and you don't know where you're going, let it just evolve. Try something new. Try something you've never, um, I did, I did literally laugh so much that. I know. Isn't that crazy? It was such a fun weekend. When she was leaving, I was like, bye, I'll see you in 15 years instead of 16. No, we're going to see each other again. We're going to do a girls weekend in Santa Barbara. And it was just fantastic. And she's a mom and I'm a mom. And we have many of the same struggles. It just goes to show you, you are never alone. Okay. So that with that, I said, you know, we've had um, a lot going on. I know, true friends. It's weird. But you know how sometimes you see a friend and I said to her, don't unpack your suitcase until I figure out if you're semi-normal and then you can come on in. <laughs> so um, luckily my humor hadn't changed and she said um, to me that was one thing that she had never forgotten. So it was great. We just had, you know, went to dinner at 10 p.m. Who goes to dinner at 10 p.m.? We were both laughing. We both stayed out till 1.30. We never stay out till 1.30. So anyway, I do so uh, it was just amazing. It was so funny that, you know, um, thank you so much, Renee. It says love your life. Isn't that great? Right on my boob. Okay. So we're going to paint today. I feel a little bit more relaxed. I needed that downtime. So anyway, if you ever have the opportunity to take, your, take a look at yourself in a 16-year time capsule, I just did it. And what a ride it's been. Okay. So is everybody well? Good? I hope so. <laughs> sure you were, Renee. I know that's where you were looking. I want to make a heart. Let's make, Susie wants to make a heart. She's afraid we were going to do the butterfly page. Um, Hold on. That is Susie, the, Susie the butterfly hitter, right? No. Okay. <laughs> ah, thanks, Renee. El natural. Okay. Anyway, so any questions for me before I begin? Andy is moderating. Uh, is Yvonne here yet? Where is Yvonne? Is Yvonne here? Oh, that stinking Yvonne with that Susie 800. Oh my gal, I'm gonna, I am gonna, I'm never gonna get this right. And I'm gonna make, because now I'm putting, I'm putting Susie 800, Yvonne, on, I'm, Yvonne is also, I'm gonna make her moderator too, because I am. Yvonne! I got to talk to you about changing your name to Yvonne. Okay. So, oh, I don't know if I want my heart page. I got to decide where my heart page is going to go. All right. Oh, I do. You guys, I do need my cheat sheet list out. Did Terry, did you see this? This was for Terry this weekend. Seriously, I was cracking up. I was out with my girlfriend. I, I don't, I didn't even know the cheat sheet existed. And then Andy's like doing all this work behind the scenes. Isn't that funny? This is so me. I'm so behind. I don't know if I want my heart page to face that. Yes, I believe I do. No. I think I'm going to put my, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have it here. I know Andy is good. This is one of my trademark. You guys are going to all realize this. One day you're going to look at your art and you go, okay, that's my trademark thing. That is my go-to thing. This heart thing, 
has been my trademark thing for quite a long time. I just know how to do it quickly, fast, well, and I love it. And I put it on cards. And yeah, bubble wrap. Everybody has their go-to thing. Well, this, mine is this heart, and I hate hearts, so it's kind of ironic. Okay, here we go. We're going to use the smiley face. I know that Terry is probably cringing in her britches right now. Okay, so I'm going to use a baby wipe because that is how I roll. Okay, I just want to paint, but I'm going to look at you guys. So this has been really a busy month. September has just been, I told one of my friends today that all I need to do is suck in and write a book and put a bestseller on the list and, uh, you know, my month would be complete. But I haven't written a thing in my life so other than my blog, which I hope you guys go to regularly. Okay. And I hope you guys are all members of the Facebook page, which is a very supportive network of artists. I have to say, uh, if you have a question, it is just a great place to put it. Okay. Two colors of blue. I'm using baby blue, ocean blue. And because I'm in... And... She should write a book about all of us. Oh, my God. You guys would all be characters in my book. Yvonne. I'm going to call Yvonne Yvonne. I'm not going to call her Susie 800. That sounds like a refrigerator. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to our new Susie 800. This model crushes ice. It has a TV, a radio. Are you tired? I feel like I'm doing a vitamin to vegemin commercial. Vitamin to vegemin. Okay. I'm going to call LG and say you guys should come out with a Suzy 800. So, two colors of blue. My family is out there eating and I haven't even eaten. Selfish people. Okay. <laughs> I have vitamin D vegemin on the brain because I saw it on TV. And it happens to, I love Lucy, happens to be. Like, Lucille Ball happens to be my favorite in the whole world. Okay, so I'm using every bit of this paint because if I don't, Terry will send me a nasty gram. Right, Terry? <laughs> How did you make a star glue dad? What are we talking about? What is glue dad over there taking credit? What is, what is glue dad doing? Okay, heat gone time. Watch the doggies. Okay, you paint the whole entire thing. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the page I'm doing. This is what we're doing. So, this is so easy. And this can turn into... This can turn into cards, journals, scrapbook pages, you name it. Don't be afraid to use color. I noticed that in this book that I'm doing, because this is my second time doing it. Actually, it's my third time doing it. See, my colors are becoming more vivid. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Okay, you're going to draw a heart. And I know everybody says, I can't draw. Yes, you can. You can draw because I say you can, and you're going to do it. So, does that work? No, I think I wanted to start a little higher. Okay, so... Um, all right. Now, the great thing about this is, I can hardly see what I'm doing, but, oops, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, don't panic. I can't see my line, though, so I'm starting to panic a little bit. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, don't do that. God, that's like drunk drawing or something. And no, I haven't had anything to drink. I naturally act like this goof lolly. Okay, and don't worry if you can't see it because I'm going to gesso this and you're going to see it. And then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Okay, so ready? Begin. 
Oh, look at the gesso. It's at the bottom of the gesso. So now we're going to come in and this is where you're, you're going to see, this is where you can fine tune your heart. <laughs> this is what I've been doing in my 40s, fine tuning my heart <laughs> with a little bit of gesso. Ah, this is like dating for dummies right here. Okay. So if I don't like the shape of some, oh, I, I really don't like the shape of that one now. Hold on. It's like thin on one side. The great thing is you can go in and we can repaint over it, but okay. We'll shape it as we go. Ooh. Putting that on awfully thick. That's a happy heart. I'm going to look up and see if there's any questions. Are there any questions while I'm invested in my artwork? Oh, I got one of those floppy cheapo foam brushes, so I gotta probably should switch brushes. You know what I bought this week at Blick? No, oh, that would have been last week because we just started this week. I bought spray paint. I'm going to start spray painting. I know I've been, I'm going to become a graffiti artist in the evening time. <laughs> when I go off air, I'm going to do graffiti art. Um, my teenager said he would help me. We're going to go tag stuff in the in the middle of the night in our small town. No, I'm teasing. If anybody from my small town is watching, I would not want them to <laughs> think I'm out there graffiti arting anything. But I happen to be a big fan of graffiti art, so you know, in my spare time. This is why I say, don't be afraid to try new things. Don't worry, Mom, I'm not going to get a tattoo. She's probably saying, no, here she goes, going to get a tattoo. Um, I'm not. I am not. Okay. Kind of not liking the shape of my down here. But the great thing about gesso is you can erase it. All right, and the other thing about gesso, oh, I'm not gonna do it. If I wanted to add texture, but we got writing in the inside of it, so I'm not gonna do it. You could add texture on the inside of it too. Just saying, I'm just so saying. Now I'm, I'm getting to that point where I stopped looking at the screen, so I apologize. Yeah, I don't like to, I don't like to gesso personal, pro I mean, I'm um, gesso. I don't like to graffiti art personal property, but I do love graffiti art. And I went to Blick and they had a big thing on it. So I thought, I'm going to give it a go. In my spare time, I'm going to take up graffiti art and tattooing. Okay. That's what I should do is become a tattoo artist. See a bunch of hoodlums running around with um, painted flowers on their chests. We belong to the floral gang. We're tough and fragrant. We'll kill you with one lavender hit. Don't get us in lilac season. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm having this conversation. I wonder if any of your husbands ever listen and are like, what the heck are you watching? <laughs> okay, that's good. We're done. <laughs> okay. I would love a tattoo. My problem is next week I decide I'd want a different tattoo. My mom is now. Oh, my gosh. She's talking about tattoos. I'm not talking about getting a tattoo. Okay. So we're just going to dry this. And don't worry. If you still don't like the shape, don't worry about it. I don't like my shape either. Ah. Yeah, you know what they say about... Oh. <laughs> yes, so. I'm not great with pain. 
when I have to go donate blood, I have to psych myself into it. Ask my parents about when I had to have a mole removed. I had to have a mole removed, and they had to call them from the office because I thought it was horrible. <laughs> Yes, it does. Nobody could tell me that a tattoo does not hurt. I'll be getting off this show tonight, but my mom's going to place a phone call to me. So. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use a lot of red. Oh, I hope that's dry. Yeah. We're in painting fast mode tonight. I'm going to go, this is a very red, no, primary red. I love this red that this is. Deco art. How cute. Who was the one who went to Michael's and said, I looked all over for deco art and they don't have it. All I had to do was buy this Americana. I bought this Americana paint instead and I loved it. It was so cute because Americana is deco art. Very cute. Um, I want to I want to chit chat with you guys too about something. The virtual I'm I'm involved in a virtual art walk. It's going to be online. There are nine other artists plus myself, so ten of us total, who were asked to be part of this. And I, when I was asked to be part of it, I was asked to. It's kind of like a past and present type um, art walk. And I was asked to pick my favorite artists, you know, Picasso, Monet, you know, everybody, you know, all the big guys, okay, Michelangelo, whatever, you know, she's, she didn't tell us who to pick, obviously, but she told us to pick somebody who influences us, and I racked my, my brain, because I know who kept popping into my head, and... I should get a paintbrush and paint this, but I'm really having fun with the foam brush because I love that it's so not exact. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. She asked us, and I, I'm going to, October 2nd is my day, so you'll see on my website I will be sharing. I would probably share this, but my artist that came to mine is Dr. Seuss. And Theodore Geisel, as some of you may know him, was also a San Diego resident, so I've been fortunate enough to visit art, local art galleries here that he has his art, and I think you guys all know of him as an art, an author, but he is really an amazing artist as well and drew his art. So that is who I pick because I really honestly feel that my art is... A little bit along his lining. <laughs> Am I still on? Yeah, see, impressionism. Okay, see, okay, good. I'm glad I, this question has come up because I wanted to know from you guys while well, you're putting it on the spot, is there some art that you have seen? Because then I will go back in this chat because I'm sure Andy will clue me in, I hope. I would love to know who has made an impression on you. And it could be anybody. You know, Dolly, Weinzaffel, Monet, Weinzaffel. <laughs> Do you guys think my name is fun there? Okay. Anyway, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> and I just did one of the lines. So that's okay. Like, like about living on other lines. Yeah. Yeah. So, I am going to watch as you type. Kim's trying to type my name really quickly. Hey, Brown, I did a very good job. Oh, my, I think that's a good one. I know, there's so many. And you know, the other thing is, it's not just the painting that goes along with it. It could be a song. Oh, I know Natalie. Natalie is so creative. Monet, I love the colors. Okay, so this is such I should have posed this question before I had to pick my artist, but I was really excited because um yeah, Natalie's got a great blog. She's super funny too. When you can understand what she's saying. She's 
is very, I met her at CAK. Very nice lady. So anyway, um, I'm looking up because I want to keep saying. Tammy Moon. I don't know. Oh, Thomas Kincaid. Good one. Oh, hi, Paula. Paula went to Franklin Lewis this week. Just thought I'd tell you that. She told me that. Okay, so this is where you kind of need to, oh. Your your audio might be crackling because I'm paint. Um, I'm I've got the might have the electric you know the um air heat gun going. Oh, that'd be so cool to see. Oh, I know. Did you guys ever see the Hallmark movie or the? I know my mom has seen it. The Hallmark movie about Thomas Kincaid. Bob Ross. The Happy Trees. Happy Trees. Happy Trees. <laughs> Lori, I was just talking about you. And since you were here, we're not going to tell you what we said. No, I was talking about Etsy because of Lori, I updated my Etsy too, and I was trying to encourage everybody to do things and start a piece at a time. But now we're talking about um now we're talking about um what artist has influenced you. Lori. Okay, because I'm doing this virtual art walk and I had to pick somebody. The hangover artist. You mean the guy who wrote the hangover? Because it's completely hilarious. Okay, so this <laughs> Lori, I totally set you up with that. That's awesome. She's she picked up on that so quickly. Okay, so now we've painted it. Now my problem is gonna be is it dry enough? Because I'm touching it and it feels a little tacky. But you know what? What's my favorite tool is this. The 3B charcoal pencil. <laughs> I love all the, oh, my, oh, you guys are so nice. That is so great. Because I want to go back and look at who you say. Okay, so all I'm going to do is not do that because it's so wet. I got to do, I got to keep heat gunning. You guys are so funny. I hope I, have, I do, I will be honest with this. I hope I do have some sort of positive influence on your art. I hope you don't kick it off and say whatever, whatever Tracy did tonight, I'm going to do the opposite because I hated it so much. Um, I have to open my blinds because I want to see the sun setting. It inspires me. So paint a background and half a heart. We just sewed it. Yeah, if you're caught up. Um, okay, if you're, um, if you're, I will give you my little mini lesson in charcoal pencils and pencils. And this goes back to my office supplies days because I was my first job. Well, actually, that's my second job. My first job was in a library with a bunch of blue haired women who would never lift a book up. And I hated that job. A whole summer of lugging these really heavy books everywhere. I would tell people don't check out books because I hated putting them away so much. Um, I would actually tell people, no, you don't want to check that book out. You know, the thicker ones. Nah, don't check that book out. It's not very good. Um, my second job was in an office supply store. So I have the pleasure of knowing about pencils. I know. So your standard number two pencil is a medium pencil. Um, it is an HB lead. I would say, I would think that the H stands for um, hard and the B stands for who knows. So when you can go greater numbers in the H's, that's the harder you go. So if you go to H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, you use those a lot in drafting because you don't want the pencil to smear it all. You want it to be very hard. And then in the B's, the greater the number is the softer it goes. So then it starts to smear. I happen to prefer a 3B one because it's softer. So if you have a medium charcoal pencil, you probably have something that's along the H, B, or B range. And if you like it, stick with it. If you don't like it, go with something softer. So it'll probably be in soft, medium, hard, that kind of thing. Okay? I'm not liking the shape of my okay heart, but you know what? The shape of my real heart is pretty good. So, so this is what I'm talking about, about being able to smear it. See, oh yeah, and then I smear it to the inside because I uh, I get this great shadow effect. 
and then I'm smearing it a little bit to the outside as well. You see, you see, and I'm just having fun. And I like the way this heart is kind of Dr. Susie. See, is Dr. Susie a word? And I'm really not looking at the chat. So now at this point, you're all free roaming. And if you want to talk about me, it's the time to just do it. Okay. All right. So now see how cool that is? A charcoal pencil kind of helps you hide mistakes, shadow things, give them depth. See how my heart's coming alive? The hills are alive with the sound of music. Okay. Probably more than you wanted now. What do you think? See? So I clearly just probably talked way too much about charcoal pencils. In fact, I have a lot of favorite charcoal pencils. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a ink pad that is gray. The sound of charcoal. Oh, how I love the sound of charcoal. I'm taking an ink pad and just, it's black. I actually think it's charcoal gray, but I'm just going to dabble my sides so I give depth to my whole page. See how I did that? This is just how I feel right now. Don't forget the inside of your book. I know it's kind of hard to get to, but it's sewn. If you bought one of the, if you did buy one of my journals, which I have three more to sew because somebody else ordered, <laughs> please go ahead and send it because I went to Blick last week to get more canvas as I have to sew a bunch for my art walk because I'm going to sell them there. So it's a good time because I will be hitting the sewing machine again. Okay, we're done with that. Let's just make sure that's cleaned up. About this time, I'd probably spray a workable fixative on it because I want to make sure I would fix it, but I don't really want to spray that in here right now. So I'll spray it after, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not gonna. This is a May Arts ribbon. I love it, it's lacy, it's sexy. And I'm just gonna use that. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I had something thicker. Hold on. Eh, okay. It's pretty. Kind of looks like sexy lingerie. Okay. Whew. It's a little hot in here. So, uh, yeah, we're doing it. This is a sexy heart. So, all I'm doing is going to just glue the sexy hearty ribbon down. Just use a quick dry adhesive to just kind of of course I moved everything to where it's inconvenient because I'm starting to clean my office for this photo shoot and I can't find anything because I you have to put everything oh ah ooh. You have to put everything away. <laughs> you have to look like you really or don't work from the office. No, you, they just, you know, they don't want stuff laying out. They don't want to look like it really looks like all the time. I'm normally pretty neat though, so. So we're gonna go with the sexy heart feel tonight. Ooh, I'm getting so hungry right now. So like, I did like blog posts for the week. I have so much going on and I, feel, I love when I get a little bit ahead and not 10 times behind. So I don't really know what kind of flower I want to put on it other than I probably just have to make my own because I don't have anything. This is white. I do have a, you can paint it. You don't have to spray it. I just want to spray it so I can be quick about it. I have this, it's called Afraid of the Dark. So it's kind of almost a black color. You can paint your flowers, or if you have a black flower, you know what would look cool on here too? Hold on. You know what would look cool? Hold on. This would look cool. It's gonna be a little thick, so let's see if I could do it. See, I, bought, I buy these. 
No, these are really big. Uh-oh, did I get knocked off? No, I don't think so. Oh, Andy. Oh, I need... Andy lost her moderating status. Okay. Mm. I thought these might look good, but maybe they don't. Maybe I'm... No, they're a little... They're not sexy enough. This is kind of sexy. Hold on. These have like a black tint to them. I could almost do black. Okay, this is where we're going to go for the vote. Um, I was going to... This has a black flower with a black button. Got it? I'm too sexy for your page. Okay. So I can go with these bright red flowers, which you can hardly see, and I can blacken them up by just taking an ink pad to them, or here, I'll give you the choice, or I can spray. I know, I kind of love the black too. This is a, it's actually a, it's actually kind of a really deep purple called afraid of the dark so I'm just gonna make it really dark black yeah, let's blacken up the red and see let's see we'll look at both I'm open to both here I am a no okay I'm in no hurry these might look kind of cool being they look vampirish you know, I'm um, gothic. That's the word I'm looking for. Ooh. You know me. They're like, oh, I don't really like how I did that one, but. Grunge. Oh, yes. Darcy Glam. I like that. Is anybody new here? Speaking of which, loving the Darcy Glam name. We have friends. There's we have kids have friends over watching football, so they're being loud. My house has become, you know, meetup central. You want to play pool? Go ahead. Okay, so here we go. There are grungy red flowers, which I kind of like. Am I still on? T Mac, are you new? Ooh, these are pretty because they're glitzy, but, um, okay, there's that, and I could put buttons in the middle of it, or I can just go black. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Love new folks. I hope Andy is welcoming you and Yvonne. That's Yvonne's official job as greeter. She's at the door. Okay, put the red ones on top of the black ones just for fun. Okay, let's live this up, of course. Wait a minute. We can mix it up. We can mix it up. We don't have to go so big. I don't know. My black isn't exactly matching. Or we'll put the red flowers behind the black. Okay, hold on. I'm willing to do anything once, twice if I love it. I got a kid coming home from foot, uh, basketball. No, they're kind of different flowers. Hi. Okay, Annie Lou, not. No, I like the red ones. I'm kind of liking the red ones. They're a little sexier, if that's a word. Red. With like black middle, let's let's do that. Let's do that. I, I just want to, I like to change it up in my book. It's really hard for me to reproduce. Double, double. Okay, a little big on the button. Okay, a little big on the button. Okay, look at this. We'll just go sexy buttons too. We don't have to go three. Sexy word. I'm bringing sexy back. You knew that was coming. That was so predictable. It's not even funny. I need to bring my song choices a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 We're not thinking about this. Oh my God. Terry wants black flowers. Terry, because I did black here, I'm going to do red here. But I want you to do black flowers. <laughs> the dad. My dad. Is that, a, does that, I don't know. I mean, I don't really care what color the flowers is for Jiminy Cricket's sake. Hmm? Black? Let me look, let me look up and take a vote. Dad, do you have a vote? Do you have a preference? 
fine like it's your act. <laughs> oh my god. I know. I did black flowers. So I know everybody's yelling at me. Um Terry is powder. Well, hold on. I also want to try this. Wait a minute. Let's Terry come back. Don't go in the corner yet. Because I'm also stay here, Terry. Don't lose me. No black. Go red. I, I'm thinking I want to go red on this one. But you know me, I'm willing to go take one for the team. I think buttons and flowers are like the one thing this group does not have a consensus on. Okay. Okay, red. Okay, we're, we're doing this because I am trying to show you guys that you don't have to put so much thought into everything. And I'm overthinking it now. So, glue these puppies down. They're glued down. Sorry, Terry, we held a vote. It was not democratic. It was more like whatever I say goes. And we went with it. Oh, shoot. I'm ruining my manicure, which is done by me. So it's not like a big deal. So I'm just going to kind of groupy group these flowers. I'm kind of bringing them all together. Why doesn't Justin or Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, I don't like Justin Bieber, just so we're clear, that was not a Freudian slip. Although, let me tell you, after last week and watching the Country Music Awards and finding out that Hunter Hayes is just shy of probably 12 years old, kind of changed the dynamic of me having dreams about him. Kind of awkward. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not a Bieber fan. Sorry. I mean, my daughter likes her him. No, I don't even think she does. I mean, we, we don't ever have this conversation about him. But I do like Justin Timberlake. And I really did like his music. What was he, in sync? Okay, how about a blue button? Oh, Renee, I already blew the buttons down. He does have a cute butt. <laughs> and he's closer to my age. Or we talk about Justin Bieber, because if you say that, I'm not doing that. Janet, are you going snowboarding right now? <laughs> Jan Janet, are you leaving and going snowboarding? Oh. Okay, sorry, Sarah. Sarah's getting all offended. Sarah's closer to Hunter Hayes' age. Trust me, after I saw the Country Music Awards, I was like, what? How is that guy singing? He wants to be with me when he's 12. Okay. I'm sure he wasn't directly singing at me now that I think about it. Hunter Hayes. Look up Hunter Hayes. I love his music. And unfortunately, he is very too young for me. Okay, I'm going to use a new marker. I love these markers. I just got them. Oh, look him up. Very cute. And he's got a boy's... Oh, excuse me. I'm using my teeth to... <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm trying to unwrap a marker, and probably an exacto knife will be better. Okay. Oh, Hunter Hayes, he is so got such a great voice, and then you watch him. Okay, these are very cool markers. I have them in white. I have them two thicknesses, white and black. They're refillable, and they're by Montana. They make the they make the spray paint I bought too. So I now my friend Jamie, I don't know if she's here. My friend Jamie Doherty told me to get these, and so I said, okay, I'm going to, and I did, and I love them. Refillable, yes. They are. If you're going to be a graffiti artist, like I'm going to turn into. Hold on, I got to get the ink to the bottom. In my side, in my spare time, I'm going to be out tagging places, so I want to be able to outline it. These are, yeah, Jamie does. I love Jamie. So she told me about these. We were, we've been meaning to get to Blick together. We live in the same town, and of course, I went without her last week, and I went and snuck into the Montana aisle. Um, I'm making sure everything is sticking. Okay, so they're kind of they're acrylic and they're um, they're water based, but when they dry, they're um, what do you call it? Permanent. 
So this is going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to map this out. I'm going to say find your, what am I saying? Find your very own voice and sing your heart song. So all of you people who are afraid of your writing, buckle up your seatbelts because we're hanging on. I, I'm not a big fan of mine either, but oh, I kind of wish this, oh, there we go. Find, I know how every time I write, everybody gets super like, ah, okay, me too. You're not the only one. I'm the one doing it. I gotta make sure I don't make any. I cannot talk while I'm writing because that is like a recipe for massive disaster and spelling errors. So excuse me while I write in my own world. I am purposely not lining anything up. I'm just trying to somewhat have it straight would be my goal. <laughs> now I'm thinking, which is a problem because we know how often I do that. Oops. Again, I can't speak. Um, I have no idea if this is straight. So, oops, get out of the way, flower. I got it to tell you. Oh, I kind of want to move this flower back. I really liked how those wrote. So I'm going to say I get a little bit of my, I want to get my leaf petal out of the way a little bit if I can. Okay. I really like the way they write. They were very fluid. Is that a word? Fluid. Now what I would love to do is take the thinner one Oops, and drop it in my um, <laughs> Terry. I love that. What I'd like to do is take the thinner one and write on the inside. Oh, that is going to happen, I guess. Did you catch that Lions game yesterday? Oh, Angie, sitting there, probably happy pants over there. You know, the problem was I, did, I had my socks on, but I did not have my shirt on. My shirt on would have made that. Well, I did not, not that I was watching football naked. Let's be clear. Um, <laughs> I didn't have my Lions shirt on. Although, maybe if I was watching it naked, they would have won. You never know. Okay. Find your own voice and sing your heart song. Got it. I really liked it. Done, done, done. <laughs> it's naked football watching every Sunday. Usually in my sweatpants. That's my really more my style. Okay. I really wish my heart wasn't, or my, oh, you know what I can do? Stop being so crazy about it and leave it alone. I'll just give it a haircut. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that flower didn't need to be perfect.
Okay, giving my flower a petal cut, petal trim. Okay, love it, love it, love it, love the red flowers. It is kind of sexy. It's got a lot of color to it. Ding, dingling, ding. Who makes some uh, Montana? I will tell you. I'll show you to them. Show you them. Show them to you. Uh, Montana acrylic water based. They're permanent when they dry. I really like them. They are refillable. I did. They did not have the refills there, so I can't answer the question. They come in like three or four different tips. I bought the. I will tell you what I bought. This was what I was using. Was mm, fine, fine, and this has got an extra fine. I didn't really think I needed to go that much wider. I loved them. They were super great. Like, this went on this canvas, no problem. ding a ling a dong dong we're done. Okay. What time is it? You know what? I think we have time for one page. That was it. I think I have extinguished. We will finish the last two pages next week, which will be perfect, because then I'll be able to leave the book open. I'm, I'm completely and utterly happy with the page I did. I know some of you have probably seen this page before done and some of you have not because this is kind of like my go-to. Um, I have done this on cards, which I will show you. Hold on. Okay, so the cards I was talking about, here they are. So, oh, I do have a canvas board. Yeah, and I've done it on canvas. But it's kind of like your signature thing. You find your thing and you go, oh, yeah, that is my thing. I'm, I, I know that artists, you know, several of them, you know, painted nudes. And I debated, I debated painting nudes, but then the thought of us getting together every week. I do think, um, though, if, if I did decide to paint nudes, we might have a higher male presence. Um, and I'm willing to do just about anything to make our audience grow, but I'm, I'm thinking that that might be pushing it. Right now, all your husbands are perking their ears up to the Monday Night Football going, Hey, if she paints nudes, I'm in! Okay, so here I am cleaning. Okay, video froze again. I hope it didn't. So let me... <laughs> if you paint nude while alone, you will save money and time. I know. I, I always get nervous. Okay, there we go. Am I back? Ah! Okay, so really, really, really... And I want to tell you... I'm going to move this. I debated... Did I freeze up again? You are gone. I, it says I'm here. Okay, hold on. Am I here? Okay. Tell Renee, tell, um, okay. Um, I really debated putting the red next to the, um, like this vibrant fuchsia-y color. I am so loving it. It this just this is a popping page for me. It's, everyone is popping. I know Renee. I love my shirt. I have another one too, and it's all blinged out too. Um, so we only have two pages left, and we will save that for next week. With the technical issues we had to begin with with UStream, I just couldn't. I can't fit it in. So, um, really, really loving it. I hope you do too. That is my signature heart. Guess what? Yes, Terry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what a shirt. I love this shirt. I had this shirt at Costco a hundred years ago. Five years ago. Heart it. Thank you, Mom. Mom, so today I did one of these things where I was walking by the mirror and I had five o'clock and I looked. Never combed my hair after my shower. I look like Medusa. You can't put stuff on your pages. Terry, we got to break you out of the stuff. You got to get into the stuff. I do hate hearts. Is, is that crazy? I hate hearts. I'm going to make you bond paint butterflies. No, Susie, Susie, Susie Ferguson doesn't like the, oh. So, no, I know. But right now, I'm finding my own heart song. i got to think of a song that it just describes my day. Man, it's good to be me. Uncle Cracker. 
Um, a quick dry clear glue, Linda. Anything that's quick and dry that dries clear. I use, um, I just have, um, I actually, I just got some new glue sent to me and I'm test, I'm in the process of testing it. And until I 100% fully endorse it, you probably won't hear about it until I 100% endorse it. But I think it's, I'm loving it so far. So, I'm singing my, is that Kariana? 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 I only know like one Kariana, so. And if it is, welcome. Oh, hi. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm teaching at the store. We talked about that. Anyway, oh, Cindy is a commercial. So we're done. We have this next week. Any other, oh my God, yeah. I feel like I'm covering so much in one night and we had technical issues. But again, Ustream is free, so don't hate the artist or the messenger. Any other questions that I missed tonight? And Kim, welcome back. I know that you've had a rough couple of weeks. Welcome, welcome back. And anybody who is new here, we have a really cool Facebook group that we all kind of share our pages and uplift one another. It's kind of all about, I believe that there's enough art in this world to go completely around. And I love to share what I'm doing, but I love to see what you guys are doing. I also love to see um, what you guys do based on tonight. You don't have to copy. Oh, did I leave? Did I leave? Am I here? Am I here? Am I here? Um, we have been having technical issues. No, I look like I'm still here. Um, if uh, um, if you do something completely opposite, I am not offended. And if you do something that looks exactly like it, um, I am I am not offended either. Uh, or I I'm complimented about. Okay. So Andy, is Andy here? Will she give the Facebook page thing? Yvonne, Susie 800, whoever, hello. Oh, there she goes. Um, if you guys, um, I'm making her moderator. Uh, whatever you get inspired from these nights, you, you, I would love to see it. So I think that is it. I love your book, Tracy. Oh, thank you. No, if your book, don't, don't think of it in terms of your book being sad. It's all a learning process. So take some of the techniques that you've seen here and use them. And if you didn't like the techniques, I know Terry's not going to put a black or a red flower in her book. I'm completely A-OK -okay with that. And if you guys have not ordered the canvas journals and you still want them, I'm still sewing them. You know why I'm still sewing them? Because they sold out and because I ordered more canvas and it just got here today. Oh, I, oh God, I have two giveaways. This is what I'm going to do. Two giveaways that I owe. And I'm so sorry. I'm behind in the giveaways. I am going to close my eyes and point to the screen and whatever name it lands on is what it lands on. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to give two giveaways away tonight, right now. Got it? Got it. Yo, look at this, okay? And I'm just going to point to the screen. <laughs> like now I'm nervous, okay? Because really, pretty much anywhere it lands. I hate doing these two. Okay. Kim, lazy cow, or lazy girl, lazy girl, lazy girl, lazy girl. Okay, that is one. I'm just, hold on. I want to wait till it's screening. Paula. Oh, my God. You guys are whipping it. Okay. Lazy girl and Paula. You guys win. Got it? Okay. But I'm going to do another giveaway. Oh, my God. Kim. Lazy cowgirl. It is lazy. Not, it's lazy cowgirl. I'm going to do another giveaway because we talked about this. So go to, but I'm going to do this for real. I just needed to catch up on those two giveaways. And I am sorry. I am just so behind. Um, I'm going to give away some charcoal pencils because Faber Castell had sent me some awesome ones. And I'm going to give those away. Not all of them. I'm going to do another giveaway and I'm going to do it off of the, my Facebook page. So if somebody will give my studio Facebook page, if you guys know that, because that's easy for me to go to. 
and talk about what you, um, uh, I will never point to anything again. I'm sorry. I just had to do something random and it was flying. I had to find the name. Okay. I, I there are two, uh, I'm going to give some charcoal pencils away and I will send, I know I have extra gelatos in there too. So go to my Facebook page, kind of give me a little heads up of what you liked, what you didn't like, whatever you want to say to me. Um, and I will give some, I will give these because I love these pencils and I talk about charcoal pencils so much. We might as well give some away. Okay. So go to my studio page. It just makes it easier for me if I can go to one location. Okay. Okay. I have no idea who I said just wins. So I have to write this down too because um, you guys, Monday night goes so long for me. I'm, I'm writing Kim Cowgirl. And where is, where is Yvonne? Is Yvonne still here? Oh, there she is. You guys lost your moderating status. Okay. Lazy Cow won. <laughs> and well, that's better. Where's Tracy tonight? Mrs. Fence. Better than when I was calling Mrs. Fence the old lady who was in a rocking chair and she's really young and cute and it's hilarious. Okay. Are there any other questions? Tonight was awesome. Tonight was way awesome. Okay, I'm holding up the wrong book. And don't forget my card class that I talked about. If you wanted to order the Canvas journals, it's not too late. I have to sew many more of them. I don't know where my book went. Oh, here, it's right in front of me. Awesome. Oh, you guys. Oh, Renee, thank you so much. Thank you guys so, so much. And thanks for letting me get caught up on those giveaways. I know sometimes people get really upset when you don't award the giveaways. It's just, I've been so busy, and then I have to go all the way back and check, and most of you guys are here anyway. So if you won tonight, congratulations. If you didn't, you know what happens. I will pick winners. I mean, we just keep picking winners. Oh, and Terry, your Halloween books are awesome. We need to do a Halloween project for a Halloween, I mean, for October. It's my favorite holiday um, next to Christmas. And any other questions before I tune out and try to get some dinner in me? And then I want to post this for tomorrow. If you missed any portion of this, I will. Um, I love April Fool's Day, Cindy. You know that. Um, I can't wait till April Fool's Day here. Any, if you missed any of this, it'll be on my blog. Tom well, I think tomorrow. I got to sleep at some point. But I list all the supplies I use. I will list these pens because I really do love them. Good night, Jean. Good night, Esther. And thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Kim will never come back again. Now that I called her. Kim, you better come back. <laughs> oh, I, Linda Lee, uh, April 1st, I live for uh, April 1st, I live for it. Right, Mom? Good night, Mom. I love you. Thank you. Uh, is it Dana? Thank you, Dana. If you guys are new, don't forget to join the Facebook group. Kim, thank you. Don't forget to share your pages, too. And thank you for tuning in. All right. Oh, Yvonne, I knew I liked you for a reason. Good night, Glue family. <laughs> Okay, charcoal pencils. Andy, did you take notes? I hope. Okay, I'm going to click off and say good night. I good night, Lori. I am going to go eat dinner and I need to hit record on this baby or re save this. Good night, all my friends. <laughs>